I'm sure all of you are familiar with Minecraft's number one server, Hypixel. But in case you aren't, Hypixel is a Minecraft server that is home to tens of millions of unique players. Now, why does it have so many players across the network, you may ask? Well, it's because of its vast selection of mini games they have to offer. They have games such as Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Skyblock, UHC, and many, many more. And with all these games on the server, there's bound to be some creators publishing content on the right. And if you do think that, you're actually correct because we had some famous celebrities such as Dan TDM, Technoblade, Tom Yenin, and even freaking PewDiePie at one point when he was raising T-Series to 100 million subscribers. Show us, what do you got? It's T-Series, god damn me. <laughs> Shut the f up. 20,000! We're 20,000 away! God damn it. Collectively, they're all pulling in billions of views across the network and bringing hundreds of thousands of players concurrently online at the same time. But now, ever since the rapid decline of Minecraft version 1.8 and the server having tens of thousands of concurrent players, fans didn't feel the excitement and thrill logging on the server to either go on a Bad Wars win streak with a couple of friends or grind out the best weapons on Skyblock. By this time, the Minecraft community felt dry, bland, and very boring. Until one day, a Hypixel creator by the name of Speed Silver, who also held the community on his back averaging hundreds of thousands of views, decided to quit the server and create a new channel. The channel would start off with the name Silver and he would post content related to new versions of Minecraft. His ideas would consist of Minecraft but every mob is hostile or Minecraft but you can combine multi-tools, even surviving 100 days of the shapeshifter in Minecraft. These videos would all amass millions of views during 2021 and 2022. Now these views do sound mind-boggling to even fathom about but as 2023 approached, these views would be only a fraction of what he gets today. He decided to take a leap of fate and a new approach on his content by creating 100 player Minecraft Hardcore Battle Royales. If you're unfamiliar with the term Battle Royale, it's pretty much like the Hunger Games movie series where people gather resources, team up, create traps, and fight to be the last one standing. Except this would all be in Minecraft. Now, to his surprise, the series ended up going viral, getting a traction of tens of millions of views each episode and getting millions of subscribers. Especially with the massive sponsors he was getting at the time, such as Honkai Star Wheel, which is pretty much created by Genshin Impact. He had to be chilling with the at least a million in the bank surely right but the question remains what did he spend all this money on well i'm not his bank or his girlfriend or his family member so stop looking at me like i'd know that but i do know one thing for the past year he'd been working on a minecraft server that he would call hoplite he posted his first announcement on the server on august 29 2023 and mentioned two important things one that the server was going to be on the latest version of minecraft which is 1.20 and that's quite the relief considering that 1.8 is pretty boring to most people at this point 1.20 would be a massive refresher for everyone in the community. Now I do know that a lot of 1.8 mains wouldn't want to switch to the latest version, but this does bring up my second point, where in the same post Speed Silver would say, and it is unlike anything you have seen before, which could either imply that this server could potentially blow up to be one of the best Minecraft servers of all time, or become a fake promise and flippity floppity to the <gasps> ground. Look, look, before you get your pitchforks and throw me in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and make me stay five nights, just listen to me for one second. I also pray that's the first option as well as we don't want a repeat of Tubbo's Minecraft server, Tubnet. Anyway, at the end of the Hotline Network post, they would also mention that the open beta would begin on September 30th. Now, everyone and their mother was thrilled for this as we had big names like Calvin, The Horizon, and even Aaron on the edge of their gaming chairs. As gamers do not sit on peasant chairs, we have thrones. Hmm, <clears throat> that was cringe. Back Back on topic, it was getting closer to September 30th beta, till all of a sudden on September 24th, Speed Silver posted Twitter saying, the delay is unfortunate, but we are making sure that the server is high quality as possible and we'll be posting a ton of teasers over the next two weeks. Smiley face. Now, this was definitely a bummer to hear that there was going to be a delay, as with Tubbo's Minecraft server, Tubnet, there was also many delays to his release date as well as the server is poorly maintained and it was not on schedule. But praying that we wouldn't get flashbacks of his mess, I'm really hoping that we don't. Though, Speed Silver actually kept his word as the server beta finally released on the morning of October 14th. I remember this day very fondly as Hoplite was reaching 500 plus concurrent players with lots of people still waiting in the queue to log on as you needed VIP to bypass the queue system. Over the next few days, Hoplite would continue to do open beta sessions and you would think players would say, Oh, uh, this is Hypixel UHC 2.0 and there's a lot of hackers on my game and they're destroying me completely and if the server is so laggy I can't even fight anyone. Yeah, I'm gonna stop playing the server, it's so trash and garbage. And if you actually think that players thought that, you are completely wrong wrong as the player count of Hoplite would only keep increasing. <laughs>
Now, remember when Speedsilver promised us that the server would be unlike anything you've seen before? Well, about that. He was 100% telling the truth, as returning players and new players would keep playing day after day after day after day. At this point, you're probably wondering what Speedsilver and his team did exactly to impress the Minecraft community beyond their expectation. Well, you see, he just added a few things, such as custom world generation structures, dragon scatter, and gliders, balanced custom crafts that are available to every single player, by the way, no paywall or anything behind it. <gasps> my god, that was, that was a lot to take in. Other than that, it was just like his Minecraft Battle Royale videos making the experience pretty easy to understand for new players. Heck, there's even voice chat on the server, and the last time I've seen a public server use voice chat was years ago. Hello, could you tell me a joke? Yeah, if you click F5 twice, you'll see the joke. Bruh. As October 20th approached, Marbar, Speedsilver's manager and girlfriend, would announce in the Hoplite Discord that Hoplite would officially, permanently be open to the public. Everyone in the community was ecstatic. No longer they had to get online at the most random times known to exist. People could log on whenever they felt like it, and regardless of the time that they logged on, whether it was 3 a.m., 12 p.m., 8 a.m. in their time zone, no matter what, there would still be hundreds of players online playing both solo and teams battle royale. A few important questions are still left unanswered though, like how is Speedsilver we're going to promote the server to get more people online. Well, this part doesn't need as much of an explanation as Speedsilver would post hotplay videos on his second channel, each gathering a couple hundred thousand views a video. And if you think that isn't enough, we even got a few YouTubers as well, such as RackRap2 daily uploading hotplay videos. I mean, this guy has one million subscribers. That's pretty damn massive in my opinion. We even got another creator such as Minitech who's also pulling a couple hundred thousand views. We even got more creators reviving their channel completely with the server as well. I'm pretty damn excited to see the future of Hoplite content. Aside from content creators, we even have Minecraft's most popular client, Lunar Client, soon partnering with them too, so it's gonna be pretty exciting to see the future partners of Hoplite as well. Just before I conclude the video, some closing notes and theories I do want to mention. Firstly, with Speedsilver creating one of the best Minecraft servers of all time, how will he keep this success and interest afloat? I mean, Hypixel has tons of game modes, each having their own differences that stand out from one another. So if Hoplite does want to keep growing, they definitely need to add more games to the network, and as well, add updates to existing games and not forget about them, unlike a certain someone. So people with all different types of tastes can log on and enjoy Hoplite. Investigating further into this matter, it does seem like Speedsilver is adding Hoplite duels pretty soon. If that's a success just as much as Hoplite Battle Royale, I wouldn't be surprised if he ended up adding more game modes to the server too. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Puffer fish cannon versus Katana versus Mjolnir. Oh my god, what? I mean, as a massive duels fan myself with 15,000 wins on Hypixel, I'm already super thrilled for Hoplite duels. Just before you do go, I have one last question that I desperately need your help with. With Simon, the owner of Hypixel no longer in charge of the server, do you think Hoplite will put Hypixel out of business? 